Hello, everybody. The College Football Playoff National Championship in Indianapolis will take place on January the 10th, a Monday night. Ugh. Should have been a Saturday night, but whatever. I'll, I'll continue to save it. Or New Year's Day, hell. I, I would have accepted that, but you know, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. This is a rematch of a game from just 37 days ago. Yeah. 37 days? Yeah. I know, right? Crazy stuff. Five weeks ago, we saw Alabama whip Georgia. Whip them. Talk about beating them down. This Alabama team they did what they needed to do against Georgia to get in. So they were they were on a path of getting eliminated had they lost. And yet they stormed through Georgia. They beat Cincinnati efficiently, dominantly, the way Alabama does things. Georgia, on the other hand, you know, we're talking number one Alabama, number three Georgia. Georgia, on the other hand, got humbled in the SEC championship. They got smacked after smacking their opponents in the mouth for 12 straight weeks. But they found their way back into their old form by whacking Michigan, just beating them down with their defense and a balanced attack on offense that is lethal. So this game is going to be crazy. A lot of people are going to be like, oh, well, this is just an SEC. This is an all SEC championship, and I don't want to watch it. And those people can, you know, not watch it if they don't want to. But I am. So this is going to be exciting. This is, a, this is a national championship. I think, you know, a lot of people probably said, oh, well, this was expected, you know, five weeks ago. But I don't, I don't think I expected this, you know. I don't think I expected this to happen. You know, I, I'm, just, I'm just not that type of guy to expect, you know, this to happen. And the line for this game is very low. I didn't look at the line for the FCS championship, but I did look at the line for this one, unfortunately. Because you know they they put they put they put the lines of the, you know the games they care about Vegas does so on these things so it's like fifty two and a half which is gonna be low it's gonna be a low scoring game I think it'll be lower than that uh, I just think this this is gonna be a lot lower than what it was a month ago it's gonna be a lot lower than that and Georgia is favored this time Georgia's favored yeah yeah this team is favored. This Bulldogs team is favored to win the championship this time in round two. And Nick Saban, can he overcome Kirby Smart's efforts once again like he has so many times before? Because, I mean, Kirby Smart has never beaten Nick Saban. Never. And will the, will the memes, will the jokes about Kirby Smart finally stop or will they continue? Because... We all know 2018 in the national championship, you know, four years ago, Alabama stunned Georgia on a last second play. And I don't, I don't think Kirby and company were the same ever since then, you know. But this is a different Georgia team now. This is a different Georgia team. Alabama, you know, has struggled at times this year, but they got it rolling at the right time. So a heavyweight fight as usual in the national championship. Is it going to be a good one? Absolutely. And we all know the Heisman Trophy winner, Bryce Young, is going to be looking to target Jameson Williams and also Slate Bolton as well. I want to highlight him as well. You know, I'll be able to give the ball to Brian Robinson Jr., who was running all over Cincinnati. And I got my stats wrong from my recap of the CFP. He actually had 200 yards rushing. Not 198. He had 200 yards. Stupid Google. Um, so this, this is going to be insanity, insanity when it comes to the national championship for Alabama side of things. We all know Will Anderson Jr. is another guy that can, you know, you know that that that's just been disruptive. Also Henry Toa Toa, you know, also you know just disruptive. You know this is an Alabama defense that has been legit. They have been legit in the second half of the season, and they really really got it together in the national championship. And they really got it together in the national championship. They really got it together. They got the recipe. They got the recipe to win it. But what about Georgia? Yeah, Georgia has a recipe too. They have a recipe 
that is looking pretty good. It's looking like a balanced, you know, hearty meal of a recipe. Stetson Bennett has been playing lights out this year. I mean, you know, despite the fact that people, you know, have been, have been, have been like, you know, oh, well, where's JT Daniels at? Oh, and then all that stuff. But Stetson hasn't made it about himself. He's made it about this team around him. And this team around him is a damn good team. Brock Bowers at tight end, Samir White also. I mean, this is a team that can, you know, they, they, can, they can play. They can play. They can play on offense. You know, they can play. It's not, it's not the it's not the Georgia of old. You know, this is a, this is an offense that is efficient. Again, balanced attack, like I continue to say, they know how to play. This guy's on defense as well. The Kobe Dean, you know, can he get the Bryce Young? And there's also guys in the secondary, like Darian Kendrick, Christopher Smith. You know. Can they cover these Bama wide receivers? Can they cover better? Can they cover these guys better than what they did in the SEC Championship? We'll find out. We'll find out on Monday night. So, National Championship, my prediction for this game. Again, Georgia is favored, and that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Georgia in this game. I think Kirby Smart has what it takes to... You know, beat Nick Saban this time. He got a second opportunity at Saban. He knows, you know, what this team, this Alabama team, can do this time. I mean, again, you know, Georgia really didn't have any weaknesses prior to the SEC championship. They didn't look like a team that had those weaknesses in the CFP semifinal in the Orange Bowl against Michigan. But, you know, Alabama could exploit those weaknesses again. They could throw all over Georgia. They could throw all over them again. But if not, Georgia's able to, you know, get to Bryce Young, you know, like Cincinnati. Cincinnati was able to stop Bryce Young at times, but they couldn't do enough to keep him contained forever. Georgia has the talent to do that. Georgia has the guys to do that, you know. They can stuff Bryce Young at the Bryce scrimmage. They can, they, can, they can keep him contained in the pocket. You know, he can move. Remember, Bryce Young can move around in the pocket. You know, it's it's not it's not the most efficient thing in the world. He's not the fastest guy in the world, but he can make plays. He can use his feet to make plays. So, that's what I'm thinking. The spread is like two and a half. Honestly, again, like I said, I think the score is going to be under that. I'm going with the under. I usually, I'd like to take the under. I'm stupid. I know. But I'm going with the under. I'm going with Georgia still by two and a half, you know, three point game. And I, I think, you know, if Alabama were to win this game and continue their dynasty of what seven championships in like fifth in like the past twelve or so years, you know, hats off to them again. You know, people like to complain and whine and cry and moan that oh well Alabama's too dominant, blah blah blah. That they, they they didn't say that back in the day. They didn't say that back in the day. They didn't say that when Miami was dominating the 80s. They didn't say that. They didn't say that. They want to say it now, but they don't want to say it, you know, back then. But whatever, man, they, they can say whatever they want to say. You know, the media can say whatever they want to say. And like I continue to say about CFP expansion, it's a dumb idea. You're going to get, it, it, it's going to make this matchup an inevitable, you know, formality anyway. I, I just... I'll, I'll continue to preach it till the end of time that we don't need CFP expansion because we get, we got the t yeah the t yeah you know people are gonna be like oh well, the title was just played you know 35 days ago and why are we doing this again you know why we're doing this again because Georgia and Alabama are the cream of the crop this year they're the two best teams in the country they whipped both Cincinnati and Michigan. You know, two teams that also deserve to be there. They all they were one of the four best teams. You know, Cincinnati and Michigan hats off to them for having great seasons. But unfortunately, they just weren't the best. They didn't have the talent to get all the way here. These two teams do. These two teams are going to deliver. If not, you know, I hope I hope we don't get a blowout or anything like that. That that would be really, really sad. But in any case, the national championship is is almost here. 
I can smell it. So next Monday, we're going to get lit. We're going to get real lit. Who's ready? I'm ready for the CFP National Championship. And for all of you that are continuing to watch, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more content. Look at the rest of the videos. We've uploaded so many to start 2022, and we're looking to continue that. Again, see ya soon with more content. Big Boy Sports, signing off.